So if you're just starting out on YouTube or video editing in general, and you don't have the resources like the big dogs to spice up your video edit, I'm sharing with you a bunch of resources in this video that you can use to make your videos look more professional at zero cost. Without further ado, let's jump on in. So first off, I just wanna say that you don't need all the fancy templates, bells and whistles, to make a good edit. Same goes for gear. You don't need the most expensive luxury camera to make a good film. All you need is an idea and a good story. So all these resources that I'm sharing with you, they're just really tools that can help enhance your story and complement that idea that you have. With that said, let's go into the first resource. Mix Kit. So Mix Kit is the resource that I always send to new creators because it has thousands of free stock video clips, stock music, sound effects, and video templates. So let's say that you finished your video, but you weren't able to record everything with your camera. For example, let's say you need some drone shots to help you tell your story. So you can go to stock video and you can also search by keyword, but better yet, you can go over here and they actually have a drone category. We have free drone footage. We can scroll down and you can see if there's any clips that catch your eye. Maybe you need a basketball shot here. You can click on this and download in full HD. And bam, you didn't need a login or anything. It just starts to download to your computer and it's yours to keep and use in your videos. Another thing that might be useful if you edit reels or TikToks is you can click on vertical and they already have pre-made stock video already framed in the vertical format that you can download and use. So for the templates, they have templates for all of the popular softwares, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. So Premiere Pro here, you can see they have openers, they have transitions, titles, lower thirds, and social media style templates. For example, if we go to titles here, as we scroll down, you'll see that some of them are project files and some of them are Mogurts, which are motion graphics templates, which you can customize in the essential graphics panel. So you can scroll through and you can download a bunch of these different Mogurts, for example, click on it and download the free template and it begins to download. So let's go ahead and download a bunch of templates because you can download all of them if you want to. And I'll show you how to use the Premiere Pro project template versus how to use the Mogurt template. Let's download some transitions and most of these seamless transitions are project files. So let's download this Zoom project file. So here I have a bunch of Mogurts that I downloaded and they'll come as a zip file and you're going to have to uncompress that. So then you get all these folders here. You don't need this preview file, it's nice. All you really need is the Mogurt and the font so that way you know what font to install if you wanna use the same font as the Mogurt. But really to install them, you just need the Mogurt. So I actually recommend dragging the Mogurt over here. So go through every single folder and drag the Mogurt so that way we can get them all here in the root folder. And now we can press shift and select all of them and drag the Mogurt into our essential graphics panel and it will install. Now, because these Mogurts are free, not all of them are designed perfectly. So you may not see a preview on some of them, but I mean, they're free, so they still work. Let's go ahead and right click on the stock video clip from Mixkit and let's create a new sequence from the clip. To use one of these Mogurts that we just installed, you can drag it into your timeline on top of the footage, for example, and now you have it here playing back and we can click on this and go to the essential graphics panel to update the text. You can choose a different font and the color with Premiere Gal tutorials. Of course, you can change the background color to something else and you can change the position and the scale by using the main controls. So it's very easy to use and now we have our new completed Mogurt. Now, what about the project files? Here we have the project files. So all we need to do is drag this into our project panel instead of the essential graphics panel. We wanna import the entire project and we wanna make sure all of these are checked and press okay. So now you might have to relink the media that it came with, and this is just preview media. You technically don't need it, but just so you know how to do this, what you can do is select the first one that's missing, go to locate, go to that transition folder, go to assets. And here we can actually select that missing clip and press okay. And it will find all three of them because they're all in the same folder. So now if we open up this transition, you can see that it has these test assets in here. And all we have to do is replace these video clips beneath this yellow part, which is the transition. So I have a couple clips here. Let's go to icon view and let's move this stock video clip. Let's press C to cut here, delete off the excess, and let's then 
use this video clip here. You can also delete these other clips that we originally had if you want to. So just select them and press delete. And now we have our new zoom transition with our own footage. If you wanna duplicate this, you can select this by lasso and selecting it. And then you can press option or alt if you're on a Windows machine and drag it over to duplicate it. We can make another cut point at this transition cut point there and we can drag in a different video clip. So now we have two transitions pretty sweet. So one last thing about Mixkit that you definitely have to take advantage of is all of their free sound effects and their music. For example, if we go to the sound effects, you can go here and download all of these so you can have them in your library for the future, which is amazing. So let's say you want to have a cinematic sound effect a nice impact there. Let's download that. A guitar riff. Download that and have it saved. One thing that you need to be careful of is if you click on these green ones up here, this is an ad for Envato Elements, which is the parent company of Mixkit because Mixkit just has a little bit of freebies from Envato. So it will ask you to pay for a subscription if you click on the green ones. But all of these grayish ones down here, these are all free. So once again, so many free assets here that can help spark some creativity for your story and complement your story. Of course, thank you so much to Mixkit for sponsoring today's video. And I put a link directly down on a mix kit where you can start downloading today. So if you can't afford purchasing a pro editing software or the Adobe subscription, there's actually a free editing software that was produced by ByteDance, which is the owner of TikTok and it's called CapCut. You can see it's a free all-in-one video editor for everyone to create anything anywhere. There's also the edit video online so you can actually edit your video and upload your clips inside of the video editor in a browser or they have download for the Mac right now but there's also a mobile app that's for Android and iOS. Here you can see in my app store on my Mac that I have it downloaded. So I was actually looking at some of the reviews here and it says that CapCut is perfect for making reels and I agree it is great for making short social media content but I I was also impressed by how robust it is. While Premiere Pro has a lot more advanced audio editing tools and a lot of advanced color correction tools, CapCut comes built in with tons of transitions and effects that Premiere Pro doesn't have. Of course, there is a caveat. Not all of the transitions and effects are free in CapCut. Some of them require a pro subscription, but you can get started for free. So because I don't like to edit on my phone, let's show you the desktop app on a Mac and I'll show you the online video editor that you can use on Windows. So here's the CapCut workspace. When you start a new project, you have your media to import, you have your timeline down here, you have the player in the center and some details on the right. To get started, I'm going to import these Mixkit stock video clips and I'm going to lasso and select them and drag them into the timeline to start our video project. You can see we can play it back. It works great, it's really smooth. If you wanna cut off a portion of the beginning, you can use the Q and W keys, which also works in Premiere Pro. So to trim off the tail end, you can press Q. And if you wanna trim off the end, you can press W. And you can see all the keyboard shortcuts by going up here, which I was really impressed by. So let's say you wanna add a transition here between these two clips. You can just go to the transitions tab and look at all these transitions that they have. They have pull ends, they have color glitches. Now I have the pro plan here and not all of these are free. It'll say that it's pro when you try to hover it and use it if you're on a free plan. But you see you have camera transitions here that are kind of seamless transitions. So if you have a younger photo of yourself and a photo of you now, there's this really nice kind of morph transition. So a lot of these are kind of geared towards TikTok, right? So let's apply this glare too, just by dragging it between the clips and then you can roll it out to make it longer. And here is a nice, glare transition. You can also go into effects and try out some of these other effects too, like glitter overlays. They have old digital film that you can pull over your entire clip to make it look like it was shot on a camcorder. And you can also control some of these details. Very, very impressive and really cool kind of like lightning effects. So if we want to drag this on the clip and pull it out, you can see we have this nice glimmer effect and we can reduce how much we want and the speed of it. So I mean, for TikToks and doing some quick effects, I'm really impressed by CapCut. Also, another thing that you probably do a ton on your reels and TikToks is captions. So let's go into the online video editor to show you how that works. So here's the online version of CapCut and you can see I've already uploaded a reel that I already edited. You can go over to text here and you can choose from auto captions here and you can recognize the voice Voice. So it can transcribe these five languages, not as many as Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro has a ton more languages that you can choose from. In this case, I'm gonna use American English and you can choose 
create and it will auto transcribe. You can see the captions are very small here, but we can stylize it. Another thing that Premiere Pro doesn't have is identify lyrics. Of course, you can still transcribe lyrics, but I think they do a better job here because this is designed for like singing videos for TikTok, you know? So you can try this out to see how it works for your singing videos. So from here, we can kind of make this timeline bigger. You can also, you know, use a command minus and command plus on your keyboard. Select one of these captions and let's go to text and you can choose a stylization here. So from text, basic, you can choose these different styles. And when you have this checked, it'll apply all of the effects and stylization to all of the captions inside your timeline. As you move the playhead, it is changed. Let's actually go and turn this off and let's go to effects. And they have even more here that you can choose from. So if we select this one and now we need to make it bigger so we can go over to basic again, and we can go down to resize this text. Now it doesn't have the word by word animations, which is something I like to do in my videos inside of Premiere Pro with the plugin Submachine. You can click up here to watch how to do that, but they do have animations that you can apply to any of these individual captions. So if you want this typing style of captions, you can double click on it and it will apply it, but it didn't apply it to all of them just that individual one. So you still have to go through and apply that effect to the individual ones. This is why I like the word by word animation in Submachine because it does it automatically to all of the captions for you. But I mean, this is free and you can't argue with free. So you can log in and export it and upload it to TikTok. So if this video is helping you out so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. And also you should join my Discord server called the Editing Room. It's our community of global editors where we hang out and help each other out. There's a link just down below. All right, next up are some free After Effects plugins that can help you do some VFX. Now, Production Create has some free After Effects plugins. The first one is the Hologram Generator. Now, they have a really cool step-by-step -step on how to get this started. You can film somebody in front of a green screen, for example, remove the green screen, and this Hologram plugin will let you apply it just with one click to have all these different looks here. I also produced a very in-depth tutorial on how it works and let me show you a little clip from it. So in this tutorial, I've provided the sample green screen clip. So I'm gonna show you of course, how to do some chroma keying to remove the green screen. So you're gonna learn how to do chroma keying in the tutorial. So it's just called free hologram effect in Adobe After Effects and that's my tutorial. Oh, oh. To get the free hologram effect, Use our link below at the top of the description box. Another free one is called Lightwrap. Now Lightwrap is really cool because it's essentially a tool that will help you composite better. So if you have a background layer, let's say somebody filmed in front of a green screen and then you have a separate background layer. With Lightwrap, it'll take that background layer and wrap the light around the subject to make it look more natural. So here's without Lightwrap, the guy is just standing in front of the scene, has different lighting than the background. And then with Lightwrap on, you can see it blends some of the blue color on the back of his head to make it look like it's composited naturally. So down here, you can learn how to use Lightwrap and how to install it. And of course you can go to their YouTube channel and you can learn how to use more of their tools. Production Great has a great resource of free VFX tutorials that you can check out. And you can check out my tutorial here, how to remove a green screen and key hair. And I use Lightwrap in this tutorial as well. So next up are free LUTs that convert your log footage into Rec 709 color. So that is if you are shooting in a log format, which most cameras do these days. And Basically the benefit of shooting in log is that it preserves more of the detail and the highlights and the shadows. So when you apply a LUT, you're able to do some more color correction. For example, if something's a little bit more blown out, you can bring in a little bit more of that detail. Now there are some free LUTs on this site called Bounce Color and it's called True Log Conversion LUTs. And if you scroll down, you can see they pretty much have a LUT for every common camera profile. So you can click here to download it and let me show you how to use it in CapCut and then in Premiere Pro. So here's a clip shot on an Ari camera in a log format. You can see it's kind of flat. Well, actually, if you go over to adjustments, you can click on LUT and import. And I'm going to choose the Ari LUT for this case. And now you can see we have it here and all we have to do is drag it on top of the clip as an adjustment layer and drag it out the before and the after, and it looks so much better. And with the selected, I was really impressed over here in basic, you can actually control the intensity strength of this LUT right here in CapCut, which is great. It's almost like a pro tool and you can make further adjustments. For example, if you wanna increase the saturation 
of the kind of beige suit, you can increase the saturation slightly and you can choose to increase the saturation of the sky to make it pop more. The before and the after. Now inside of Premiere Pro. Now the benefit of using Premiere Pro is that you can actually import all of the LUTs from Lumetri Color in the input LUT dropdown so all of them will be here and you don't have to search on your drive. So first let's create an adjustment layer, go up here to adjustment layer and let's drag it on top of the clip. Of course you can go here and you can go to browse and you can import the RE instance once, but what if you want it in this dropdown going forward? So what you can do is you can actually hit save and we're going to actually close Premiere Pro. If you're on a Mac, I'm gonna show you where to go to create a folder for these LUDs. Here, I'm gonna to go to go, go to folder, Premiere Gal, which is my username, and then library application support. And then here, I'm gonna go down to Adobe and go to the common folder. And there's a folder here called LUTs. Now, if you don't have a creative folder or a technical folder here, you're just going to right click and create a new folder and then type it in manually, creative or technical. In this case, it's technical. You can drag in those LUTs into this folder. You can see I already have them in here because I'm already using them. Now that we restarted Premiere Pro, we can go to the input LUT dropdown and you'll have all of them here. Of course, I already had them all here before because I previously imported them. And from the selection, I can choose the RE Log to Rec 709. Another really cool thing that's unique to Premiere Pro is you can click on auto color and it uses AI to correct that footage. And you can choose to move it over to the right to make that correction more intense or less intense. So I like it right about here. And this is the before and the after. So both programs work fine. The benefit of using Premiere Pro is that you have a little bit more control over the curves and the hue saturation curves, which CapCut does not have, but you can use the LUTs in both programs. So those are all of the free resources that can help you complement your story. Definitely go and try them out in your workflow and let me know how it goes. If you wanna learn about some more free plugins specifically for Premiere Pro, you can click right over here and you can click over here to check out my toolkit. And if you're curious about what gear I use, like the cameras that I use for this YouTube channel, you can click up here to go check out all of my gear. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time, bye.